Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 37 in Azure Data Factory Real Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss inside the EDF pipeline how to check whether given date is a weekday or weekend. Based upon that, maybe let's assume in real time scenario you want to take a decision and execute the next other activities. So, how to do that? How to check if this date is a weekday or weekend or not? So, let's try to understand this using a practical demo. So, let me go to browser. ADF Mahir, this is my data factory. I have opened it in a data factory studio. So, from the Azure portal, I opened my data factory and I have clicked this open button here to open my data factory in a new tab. So, here go to this author menu that means pencil icon. Let's try to create a new pipeline and uh, let's assume uh, as I said my requirement is maybe I want to check whether the given date or the today's date is weekday or weekend and based upon that I want to take a call to execute next other activities. So for that if you seen my ADF playlist you know there is something called if activity that will help you to check the validation if the if or to check the condition if the condition is true it will go inside the true and inside the true whatever the activities you add here and those activities will get executed. Let me go back to pipeline one. If the condition is false it will go inside the false and it will execute the certain activities. So let's assume firstly our focus is to know how to check whether the given date or today's date is a weekday or weekend. So for that uh, we, we will be for this if activity if you go to the activities there is something called expression. This is where you need to mention the condition uh, whether uh, whatever you want to validate. So in our case we want to validate whether the today's date is weekday or weekend. That means it is Monday, Monday to Friday are weekdays, Saturday, Sunday are weekends. So that's what we want to validate. How to do that? Uh, let me explain you this. So let me add another temporary pipeline here. So you know there is something called UTC now right. So let me do one thing inside this temporary pipeline let me create a variable maybe var1. So why I am creating this temporary pipeline is to check my whatever the expression I am going to develop, I want to develop it here first and then I will use that expression inside my pipeline one. Okay. So I for that purpose I created a one some sample variable. So to this variable, if you want to assign any value, you need to use the set variable activity. So here inside the set variable activity under variables tab, I selected my variable and here whatever the expression I pass, that expression output will be given as a value into this uh, variable one. So what I will do, if you want to know today's date, there is a function called UTC now. So now you have intelligence also, if you, if you type at the rate and then UTC, see, UTC now is a function that will give today's date and time. So let me practically show you that. So I am simply assigning UTC now into my variable one. If I execute this, this will give my today's UTC date time value. So let's wait for the execution to complete here, execution completed. Now if you see, we got our today's date and time. So now what we will do, uh, I, we want to check whatever the date we got it here, whether this date is on in weekend or on weekdays. So how to do that? See, do one thing. Simply there is something called day of week. Okay. So if, if I scroll down here, see there is a function called a day of week, right? So if, if, if this, this, this function is going to give me a uh, week number in timestamp actually. So let me use this. So to this function, you need to supply the date of whatever the date you want to check. So maybe I will use UTC now function here. So whatever the date today's date it is there supply that date into it and then get the day of the week. So if you remove if this function always written integer only if you see here it says int okay why because this this function right it will return value from either as 0 that means 0 means Sunday 1 means Monday 2 means uh, Tuesday like that. So and uh, today's uh, today's day is actually Monday. So that means it will return one as a value. But variable is a string type. But you are trying to assign a value of integer. See day of week will give integer value. And integer value you are trying to assign into a string type. That's why you see this expression which is type of warning. So to avoid this warning, I will simply convert whatever the value we are getting back here into string type. So let me convert that and then let me hit save and let me hit this debug execution. Now we will see what will happen whether we will get our today's date or not. So today is 4th April that means Monday and uh, I should have get value as 1 here. Why because Monday will be represented as a, as a 1. If it is a Sunday it will be represented as a 0. So I will practically also show you that. If, for example here instead of passing my UTC now what I will pass I will pass some hard coded date maybe 2022 20, then April 
uh, April 3rd. April 3rd is Sunday. Okay, so let's pause this. Let me save these changes and now let me debug execute. So this time it will it should return value as zero actually. So let's wait for the execution to complete. Now if you see we got value as zero. Why? Because the the date whatever we supplied here which is Sunday's date. So if you supply Sunday date then it will return zero. Monday one. So that means if your week day of week function will return any value between one to five then it is a weekday. Or else it is a uh, weekend, right? So with that with the same logic what we can do here there is something called contains function so let me let me rewrite re re this like this so there is something called contains function so what this contains function do to the contain function you can pass any string so what i am passing i am passing 1 2 3 4 5 and then here here i will use day of week function actually so now day of week function i will use to the day of week function i will pass my date maybe let's assume 2022 april 3rd which is sunday so now what will happen this is going to return a integer value between 0 to 7 or between 0 to 6 right so that integer value we are trying to check inside this string so what we will do we need to make sure this integer to first convert into string so for that i am using a string function to convert that to string and now let's assume this will return 0 then it will check whether 0 is there in this particular string or not if it is there then it will return true or else it will return false okay so now uh, one represents monday two represents tuesday thursday friday saturday right uh, sorry, fr th so so all these represented values represents only weekdays so since we used this string which only has a values related to weekdays so whenever you get a output from this day of week as one or two or three or four or five then this will become true or else it will it will return false so in this case day of week is going to return zero and zero is not there inside this string so it will become false that means it is a weekend if it will it, if, if this entire code returns true then that means it is a weekday so that's it so now here again you see warning why because contains will return true or false we need to make sure that to convert to string because this variable one is a string type so what i can do to show you i will use the entire code in a string function now let me save these changes now if i run this as you are expecting it will return false why it will return false because we supplied sunday date and it is going to return zero and when zero is not there inside this uh, contain function string one two three five so it will return true so that means if we are getting false from this output then that means it is a weekend if we are getting true then that means it is a weekday so what i will do i will use 4th april 2022 this is going to return one that means monday so this entire code is going to return true so let me save these changes here now let me debug execute this and let's see this time what will happen so i just started my execution my execution completed and if you see now we got it true so that's how so now we, we we computed our expression and we tested it completely so now take this code whatever we have developed here control c and then i am going to my main pipeline or my, my main uh, where i want to use this code so here i will be supplying so what i am doing contains if this output is in between 1 2 3 4 and 5 then it is going to turn true that means it is a weekday maybe if it is a weekday then inside the true maybe i want to perform a copy activity let's assume so i'm just i'm i'm not going to implement anything inside the copy activity i'm just selecting something and then maybe if it is a false that means if it is not a weekday then i don't want to do anything i don't want to copy any data so that's how you can use this uh, expression actually so if you closely observe what we are using we are using this contains function and we we are using a string which represents all the weekdays and then we are using a day of week function to calculate day number from the week for a given date and then that number we are checking whether inside this string is available or not if it is available then that is a weekday if it is not available then that is a weekend so this is how you can come to know whether given day is a weekday or a weekend in the pipeline execution and then take your execution logic according to your need so I hope you understood this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.